Hello, you're already back. Welcome to part three of How Does It Work? You'll remember last time we spoke about the bulbous vowel, and today we're going to talk about a magical place called the dry dock. The dry dock is the place where the... Sh the dry dock can be explained in this way. Let's ask Lily. Lily, we were wondering, what is a dry dock? A dry dock is what we use to take our ships out of the water. Why would you want to do that? Uh, when we, for instance, would like to do maintenance of the ships, like uh, repainting the hull or change the bulbous bow. Oh, but couldn't we just um, lift them up with a big crane? Well, look here. This is one of the largest cranes in the world, maybe even the largest. It's located in South Korea and can lift up to 8,000 tons. That is 50 blue whales. Wow, so we, we, we just drive our ships in under the... Well, actually, our ferries weigh around 20,000 tons. 20? 1,000 tons. But that would make it... 50. 125 blue whales. So it is impossible to use a crane to lift our ships. We need to use a dry dock. Look here. Here, Sigurd, you can see how a dry dock works. This is Stina Britannica when she enters the dry dock. First they open the gates, place the ship and close the gates. Then they pump out all the water and they can start work on the ship. When the work is done, they just pump in the water again, open the gates and the vessel can sail away. To clarify this further, here we have a dry dock. And here we have a ship, which enters the dry dock and we close the gates. Now we need to pump out the water. And you are the water pump. Brilliant! Mm. Ah, so, now the dock is dry and the ship is ready to... to be repaired or repainted. So, what have we learned today? We've learned that dry docks are a fantastic invention that make cranes completely obsolete. Well, we still need cranes. We use them for lifting things on board the ships. But the docks, we have different types of docks. We have the dry docks, which we have talked about, but we also have the floating dry docks. And the floating dry docks use Archimedes' principle, which we talked about earlier. Uh, and they are filled with water in ballast tanks. And the actual floating dry dock is lower under the ship. And then the we hope you've enjoyed this episode and we're looking forward to your comments. And don't forget to subscribe up and lift up the ship.